The positive uh, working environment, uh, again, it goes back to my folks, uh, you know, the honesty, integrity, uh, you know, and I've always held that with any of our staff that we treat them the same way as we would expect anybody else. But I, so I got a lot of that from my mom and dad. Then I had the opportunity to work for uh, the multi-billionaire in Vancouver, uh, Jimmy Pattison. He, again, reinforced the structure is that you have to treat your employees properly or you won't be successful. Jimmy was always, uh, he scared a lot of people because of course he was very wealthy, very uh, successful. And yet I really enjoyed working for him because uh, you know the thing I could say about Jimmy is he was fair. All the decisions that Jimmy made were fair, uh, you know, and we like to think that we do the same thing. So, uh, you know, I guess that's what myself and my wife, uh, you know, Shane's mom, believe in, and we hopefully pass it on to uh, to Shane, and that he passes it on. So, uh, if that works out, like I say, then we're successful. Yeah, I would echo that uh, that statement about treating people fairly because you know that's that's what you want to do, and you want people to enjoy coming into uh, to work every day. You know, so you can't have an environment where you know there's uh, there's a bunch of yelling and screaming to uh, to get the job done. I mean, that might have been something from the past that uh, that is uh, long since gone. But yeah, you know, it's creating that culture of uh, you know of fun, and at the same time, you know, rewarding people for for their hard work. And I think we have a great environment for that, not only in the office, but out in the field, because y you see it on people's faces. And you see it in the fact that, you know, we don't have a lot of turnaround with people I within the company. We actually have an extremely low turnover rate because people do enjoy coming into work every day. And that, that I think, is a success in itself. It feels really good knowing that, uh, that people do feel comfortable coming into work every day. But for years, I believed uh, that we should uh, make sure to reimburse our staff properly. So I guess pretty well since we've had a reasonable uh, amount of staff, we have given uh, our staff uh, a bonus of 15% of our profit that we make. And I know a lot of my peers are sitting there saying, Cal, that's got to be the stupidest thing. We don't, you don't have to pay anywhere near that sort of figure. And they said, you know, why would you, why would you give them 15%? And I said, well, guess who gets the other 85? You know, so that should make sense to them, but it never does, uh, you know, and they haven't really changed their policies. Uh, I know where we're giving our people uh, some considerable months uh, bonuses, uh, they get a, a turkey for Christmas. You know, I don't think that's fair. It's, it's commendable, and I mean, it has been since day one. I mean, it's been life-changing for a lot of people. When you, when you talk to them and you ask them the story about what are you going to do with that, it's incredibly interesting when you hear some of those stories. Some people are, are you know, obviously they're going to buy the home of their dreams, but, uh, yeah. you, know, they're, uh, you know, it's life-changing in the sense is that they're sending kids to school, they're putting away for retirement, you know, they're going on a large family trip that they uh, they might not have been able to otherwise. I mean, those are stories you love to hear. That's where the profit sharing has been such a such a benefit and a and a welcome treat for people. But you know, to Cal's point, I mean, you're you're really you're rewarding them for the success of the company because they're the people who are working at it every day. They're putting in the long hours. You know, they're dealing with uh, you know some of the issues that you wouldn't deal with normally. So I mean, it's. It's, it's well-deserved you know, by everybody.